going on people we are tottenham tv here back here with another update video to bring to you today i've got a couple of different updates some with inside the club and some about you know potential rumored transfers um, let's start off with the kind of news coming from within inside the club and this is about a scheme that was set up by the pfa to reward players throughout their professional game um, at every club who have gone you know, above and beyond to help the local community in their off-field work during the season. And these awards have been awarded to Toby Alderwald and women's club captain Jenna Shalaki uh, for their amazing work actually in the community. Uh, first of all, Toby Alderwald, he's been visiting local schools. He's been donating um, kind of tablets to his hospitals in Belgium so, they, so people sick with coronavirus can keep in touch with their loved ones. Um, he's been making calls to people that have kind of been isolating at home by themselves so they don't feel too lonely um, at these kind of times. And Jenna Shalaki, she's been doing great work with Noah's Art Hospice and also um, visiting schools and stuff like that. So absolutely sensational work from those two. So absolutely commendable stuff. Uh, but moving on. Uh, talking about the Tottenham playing squad and it looks like football will be back at some point during the month of June. So um, regarding that, it looks like Kane, Son, Bergwijn, Sissoko, we have a fully fit squad uh, to tackle the rest of the season with. And if any of you saw, I'm going to bring it on screen now, but Harry Kane's uh, training video against Hugo Lloris, left foot, right foot, whatever foot you want, he banged it in the bottom corner, top corner. Um, literally, he looks so sharp. It's very exciting. And I think I know we weren't very good at the back end from just before football stopped, but we had a lot of injuries. You know, you took Kane, Song, Bergwijn, Sissoko out of our team um, and we were very depleted. But I'm very excited to see what we can bring with, um, with all our players fit and firing. So obviously we do need some new players, a defensive mid and full backs, and maybe a centre back as well. But I'm still excited to get football back up and running and see... Um, how our players can do in a fully fit squad as well. First time Jose would have had it. Um, but moving on to Lucas Moura. And Lucas Moura has said that he is determined to come to become a Tottenham club legend, if he isn't already, uh, after his, you know, probably the most iconic goal or iconic hat-trick, definitely um, in recent Spurs history against Ajax. Uh, but what he's saying, he was speaking to um, to an outlet in Brazil and he says, I still have things to achieve here. The club is growing a lot with the arrival of Jose Mourinho. And after last season, we've reached another level. I aim to be a champion here. I really want to be a champion and mark my name in the history of the club. Um, and then he also went on to talk about joining Sao Paulo, his boyhood club later on in his career. But that is music to everyone's ears for Lucas Moura. I think that, look, he's already written his name into the club in the club's history books after sending us to the Champions League final. But if all the players can kind of sing from the same hymn sheet, Jose Mourinho, a born winner as their manager, then hopefully we can we can get over that line and finish the job that Pochettino started. But um, yeah, that is music to everyone's ears, Lucas Moura. Um, but now let's talk about a few transfer news and let's start off with Southampton. Um, because Southampton, um, they're fearing a big financial chaos at the club. Obviously, the season ha uh, was suspended and they're talking about playing the rest of the season behind closed doors. And that could really affect a club like Southampton's financial health. Um, and they could be looking to sell key players uh, to recoup funds for it. And one of those players, or two of those players actually, one of them is Pierre-Emile Hoiberg, who it's been no secret he's been linked with Tottenham very heavily his contract has one year left on it so it could be actually a very very viable option for us obviously he's in that position that we desperately need in that kind of holding midfielder and i definitely 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 would take him i think he would really bring that kind of steel to the midfield that we need and another player who they could be letting go is danny ings um, would he be a good option for us as a backup striker? To be honest, I think he would be. I think he had a great season for Southampton this season. I think that you could see when he played against us, especially that he terrorised Toby Alderweireld at that um, at St Mary's. So would Danny Ings be a good option for us as a backup striker? 
Uh, should we be raiding Southampton during their kind of financial issues? I think we've seen it before with Spurs. Daniel Levy loves a deal. Uh, when Leeds were cash strapped, we made the most out of that. Um, so let's see how this one plans out. But it's not looking good for Southampton. Um, but let's hope we can capitalise it on it, to be honest. But um, it's not good news for them. Uh, moving on, and we're going to talk about Luis Campos because he has broken his silence on his future. Well, not on his future, but on where he stands at the moment. And there was a lot of rumours um, talking about Luis Campos putting in his request to leave the club to to um, cancel his contract at the club so he could join Tottenham. But there's been no news on that as of yet. He's still at Lille. And he has come out and said that he's had no contact with any other club whatsoever. So um, this one is one to keep your eyes on, but nothing has happened as of yet. Um, and now let's move on to RB Leipzig and a player that we've been linked with for a while now. And that is Marcel Sabitzer. Um, it has come out that Milan, Arsenal and Spurs are all heavily interested in the midfielder. And Leipzig have slapped a 35 million euro um, price tag on the man. Um, is that something that we should be looking at? I don't think it's a position we desperately need, to be honest, but I think I've seen him play a couple of times now. He played well against us. I saw him this weekend in the Bundesliga. He looked good. He scored a goal for Leipzig in there. I think it was four or five nil win away at Mainz. But yeah, I think he's a good player, but I think we really need to be focusing our targets elsewhere. Um, and one of those targets is in the next player I'm going to talk about and the last player I'm going to talk about, and that is Atalanta's right back, Timothy Castagne, or however you pronounce it, to be honest, I'm not sure. But according to reports in France that we are tracking him, um, Atlanta have had, you know, they have had an amazing last year or so. Um, and he's kind of fallen out of favour the last couple of games when, when uh, Serie A was running. But he is a player with a bright, bright future ahead of him. He's 24 years old. Um, he's played international football for Belgium. So I think that, I think he fits the bill well for Spurs. I think he won't command such a big fee as well. Um, but I have never seen him play, to be honest. So if anyone's seen him play, let me know in the comment section below. Would he be a viable option for us? Uh, is he better than our current right back options in Serge Aurier and potentially Juan Foyth as well? Or Jaffet Tanganga can play there sometimes. Uh, but let me know in the comment section below what you think about Timothy. Is he a viable option for us? Um, and let me know in the comment section below if you have any comments regarding anything I've spoken about today. Is Sabitzer, is he one that we should be looking at? Um, Luis Campos, he's broken his silence and said that no club has been in contact with him yet. Um, I, the one for me out of all the transfer dealings that I've spoken about today is the Hoiberg one. I think that's one that we really need to be getting over the line. Um, yeah, but... In terms of what I've spoke about today, amazing work from Toby Albaud and Jenna Shalaki, and then um, great comments from Lucas Mora, and obviously a clean bill of health for the restart next month at some point. But yeah, that is the daily update today. Let me know in the comments se section below all your thoughts. Like, subscribe, and comment. And as always, come on, you Spurs. Yeah!